Have you ever noticed how transitions are always more dangerous than standing still? I'll give you an example. When I get up and I get ready for work, I'm relatively safe when I'm in my home. The second I get behind the wheel of a car, however, and get on the road going 60, 70 miles an hour, I'm in danger. We don't realize how simple it would be for any one of the numerous drivers that are on the road to just swerve a little into your lane or come into oncoming traffic and you could be dead in an instant. Um, it is undeniable that transitions are more dangerous. Transitions are, um, are where you can be stretched. And it's not just a physical transition from one location to the next. Oftentimes when God is transitioning you to the next place that he wants you to be in your walk with him and in life, it's going to be dangerous in a way. For on the extreme scale, if you're a missionary and you're going overseas, it could be dangerous to your life. You could literally be killed by some random person who hates Jesus. But even on a smaller scale, if, if, if God is just calling you to be more merciful to people, to be less judgmental, you know, the, the people that you've been associating with, that you've been gossiping with or showing judgment with, they might not like you so much when they see that you're changing and they're, they're losing their gossip buddy. It's just so simple, but from one point to the next, you have to be willing to trust God that even if what he is bringing you through is dangerous, that he is more than able and powerful to see you through.